It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some Fredo today. Somebody on one of my last videos said we need to check out his daily duppy. So we're going to dive into that. I love these daily duppies, especially these ones with the split yellow and black. Like they just do such a great job of adding the lyrics with little pictures and stuff that go along with everything that's being said. It just, it really draws you in. I think that it's probably one of the best forms of lyric videos with a standing mic that I've ever seen. So let's get into this and uh, let's see what Fredo's cooking with. Picture this, little Fred out there really hitting licks By 15 he's locked in jail but no one didn't visit him It's cool though, cause most of his friends were still in school though But he fought a knife and back was really cooler than some school clothes Chasing money young, yeah my teachers and my school knows I was living with my OGs, used to tell them on my school's clothes Picture this, niggas slipping on their blocks for the pips We pull up with the smoke, let it blow and now your pictures rip Me and mine was broke with hopes of coke Okay, listen, he's already going off. I'm not super familiar with Fredo. I think the only time I heard him was on that song with, with Stormzy. And I thought he killed it. I, I really thought he did his thing on that. So I'm happy to check out some more. Some school clothes, chasing money young. Yeah, my teachers and my school knows. I was living with my OGs. Used to tell them on my school's clothes. Picture this, niggas slipping on their blocks. So it's the pips. We pull up with the smoke. Let it blow and now your picture's ripped. Ooh. Me and mine was broke with hopes of coke fixing it. I was broke till I got coke. Put mix in it. She knows I'm risky, risking it. Got my wrist and whisking it. I'm even mashing works on little pricks, so I'm assisting it. Slice a nigga's chest and watch it ooze like there's a cyst in it. I get 300,000 an album and an insta pick. Been seeing man grinding for some years just for the pinky drip. Niggas had their eye on it. He lost it in a blink of it. Yo, I don't even think when I come to think of it. Forget Titanic, I got enough ice on to sink the ship. Bitches wanna fuck me quick, they don't even need to drink a bit. Rule number one, don't dry no cars. Without no tents on it I know why they hate and lie It's clear to see they're mad at me I got so many hoes I need to donate some to charity <laughs> I wasn't gonna talk about that bar But that's the better bar I got so many hoes I need to donate some to charity Yo, that's wild Listen, I'm here, baby Consider me charity Let me know Um now, nah, I agree with him though But he's like, listen Rule number one Don't put tents on your whip It's always blown my mind That people that are either Like Selling drugs Transporting drugs Doing anything illegal has these dark tints on that are almost guaranteed to get you pulled over. It's like, why? It makes no sense. You're like, oh, I don't want people to see me. Well, now you're, you, you, well, you better not do shit illegal then because you're going to get pulled over. Like you literally put in yourself in, in a bad spot. It, it, it never made any sense to me, but it seems to be a recurring theme that, that people do. And I, I'll never get it. Fredo started rapping with a bus down and a real chain. That man didn't even have no money till the deal came. You drop 20 on your wrist, you need a better freezer. That's the kind of money me and mine go bet on FIFA. Brothers acting like it's beef, but they look sort of dumb. They don't pull up brown hair, I got more beef for my daughter's mum. My Rolex and Jalal, the same number, they're both 41. <laughs> he said, they don't pull up brown hair, I got more beef with my daughter's mum. Yo, listen, he's like, <laughs> Yo, I like this dude. He's smooth with it, but he, he's a good writer. He's saying some shit. I ain't go bet on FIFA. Brothers acting like it's beef, but they look sort of dumb. They don't pull up brown hair. I got more beef for my daughter's mum. My Rolex and Jalal, the same number. They're both 41. I been in a hood all day today. My niggas call me dumb. But if I stop going, then I'm knowing the love will all be done. I don't want to change or stay the same. It is an awkward one. Picture that. Now all I got is these pics. I want my niggas back. Yo, Yo that's some real shit. So he says he goes back to the hood. Because if he stops going, the love will change, right? And that's, that's, that's just a fact. It doesn't even matter. Like, if you're trying to better yourself, people are going to look at it like, oh, he's too good for us now. He, you know, he, oh, he don't ever come back and visit because he, he's big time now, right? And people will start to look at you a certain way. But also, you got to be careful because when you go there, there might be some people that, that look at you as money now, right? Like, you might be good in your hood, but all it takes is one person who's like, yo, my life been tough. I'm, I'm sick of dealing with this. He got a $20,000 chain on. I want that, right? Like that's that's all it takes. One person that's willing to risk it all, and that shit can happen. But at the same time, he said, "Listen, I don't I don't want to stay the same." Um, but he also doesn't want to change too much, right? So it's like it's a, it's an awkward position to be in because he doesn't want to stay in that old position that he was in because part of him rapping and doing this and making more money was to elevate his life, right? So it's like, but at the same time, you don't want to be looked at differently from the people that you grew up with, the people that you know. You respect and have respected you. And so it, it, it's definitely, um, it's something that I feel like a lot of rappers go through that came from certain situations and places and stuff like that, because it's, it's, it's inevitable, right? Like you stay around, you put yourself at risk. 
you get looked at maybe a certain way by other people, um, or you fall into a, you know, a situation where you might end up getting yourself in trouble when you don't even need that shit because you're making a lot of money. But then if you leave, now you're looked at a certain way too. Like, oh, he's a bitch. Oh, he, you know, he's too good for a, like, it's just, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. It's, it's really unfortunate. People should just be happy that somebody made it and, and be happy with whatever they're doing. Niggas call me dumb, but if I stop going, then I'm knowing the love will all be done. I don't want to change or stay the same, it is an awkward one. Picture that, now all I got's these pics, I want my niggas back. Girls say they love me, it isn't that. I steal their heart, then give it back. I'm responsible for everything that's popping here. Niggas ask for shit, don't want to hear. What would you do if I wasn't here? Rest in peace, my nigga muscle, you made me drop a tear. Two Rambos up in Harvey Nichols, no, we don't shop in fear. And I don't blame them lame brothers for watching what we do. Because if I was you lame brothers, I'd be copying me too. Please. Why would I ever marry a hoe? So she can get bored, take her off my pattern and go. No, Facts. crazy bro, I was in jail, hearing me on the radio. Didn't know if I would make it home, but life is what you make Please. it though. Even though I'm seeing this crazy money, I know they want the crazy freestyle, they've been waiting on me. My young and sliding every night, yeah, they try daily duppy. Hundred round my neck and I won't let no one take it from me. Straighten like that, yeah. Ah, uh, let's go again. Made mistakes in my life and it needs a rewind. But then again, when I check, these are the reasons I mind. When I was broke, they can see me, then people was blind. Now I'm up, everyone seems to be seeing me fine. Bad on my own, they only moving a herd. <laughs> I like, yo, his writing is dope. I like him. They can see me, I'm blind, but now I'm up. Now everybody seems to see me just fine. Like, little shit like that is fire. Okay, I rock with this. Then again, when I check, these are the reasons I mind. When I was broke, they can see me, then people was blind. Now I'm up, everyone seems to be seeing me fine. Bad on my own, they only moving a herd. Last time I checked, pussy boy, you was a nerd. Whistle on this new stick, it's how we move on the curb. Little prick, we put the stick here on do not disturb. Men lie, women lie, but them numbers are real. So the ops must be lying, because their numbers are nil. You you can't name one man that you done in the field, but you got hundreds of tracks spitting on but drill. Anytime I'm spitting, they know that it's nothing but real. I'm so lit, girls are always trying to come in some hills, but you look silly dressed up when you're just coming to chill. I'm trying to fuck you on the sofa, then run up a mill. Little Troy got a 20, shit is fucking for real. Anytime his mom arts, I gotta cover them bills. Got skills in the pot, whipped a hundred of mills. Niggas start to think my left wrist must have come from Brazil. I done brought a couple men into the party, but they ain't here to party. You play, then they're coming to drill. If niggas think that I ain't gang no more, and I'm a rapper, come test me, and you'll find out that I'm one of them still. Two Woo! sticks in a whip, no bamboo. Even Hussein Bolt will lose track of all them holes I ran through. You niggas doing loads, there's not much that I do for holes. Most I bought bitch was Hackerson and a Uber home. I'm doing festivals, them man are doing chew the rolls. With the teachers of the drip, got a tutor loads. Lost my doggy, and I know that he ain't coming back. If you lose your jewels by my dogs, we don't run it back. I swear it's hard to be a boss. I just lost muscle. I feel like part of me is lost. If I could, I swear I'd probably have an argument with God. I know you got your reasons. I'm in my feelings. I don't understand. Dots died before he even was a fucking man. My stepdad caught an M. There ain't no coming back. But before this, I already was my brother's dad. That's how it goes when your people want to fuck with crack. Then the feds want to send my Ooh. niggas to pen. When deep down, we all know the real villains is them. Why start taking crack? It just poisons the states. I thought that people got to live with all the choices they make we don't force them to call they've been calling for days and you can lock me up cool they'll just be calling my mates it's safe to say when shot is getting more than a rapist case how can i abide by the law what the labor says i feel them guys in suits got all these laws tailor made because they might touch a kid but they won't never touch a razor blade where i'm from there's not one we have to make away started with some fast food the tea's like a takeaway straight from the block we could go away for years and no one here can't be taken a spot came from poverty so i bought a bus down watch and a box before I ever thought about buying any property. I gotta give it honestly, that's why my niggas honor me. Fez might as well make an Instagram, how they follow me. My young niggas stab you up, you're dead. Probably, cause they're walking around with machetes that's made for donning me. Yo, they're acting, the love is just cheap. Bro, I like him on this beat. I gotta check out some more Fredo. We, we gotta check out some more Fredo. And that's why that shit, that don't mean nothing to me. I'm getting six figures now just to go jump on the beat. So this is my last freestyle, cause I do nothing for free. Bro, that shit was ridiculously dope. I like his writing. I like his voice delivery, just the the smoothness, his comfortability on the beat. Like he he he's got the whole package when it comes to this rapping shit. Like I, I I fuck with Fredo. I feel like I may have heard him on something other than the Stormzy track. To be honest with you, I'm not completely sure. 
But we, we need to check out some more Fredo. If this is something you guys like, hopefully this gets some views. You guys can comment down below, smash that like button. Let me know. We could definitely dive into some more Fredo. But he cooked on this. This this was a, one of my, my favorite daily duppies, maybe. I really like this. I've only checked out a handful. Obviously, we got to check out some more. But I feel like this one's going to stand up against quite a lot of them because... He just, he just said a lot of real shit, like a lot of real shit, like the part about whole, it sounded like maybe his stepdad started doing crack and he said, it's, I've, I've always already been a dad to my brother. Like, I don't know what age that happened at, but that's another thing that, that, you know, changes the course of your life, right? Like a family member ends up going down a certain path, especially somebody that's like a parent to you. That's somebody that's supposed to be taking care of you and leading you in the right direction. And then you got to kind of step up before you're even prepared and, and kind of play that role for a younger sibling or something like that. And, uh, you know, that shit, it, it's... It's something that like you'll, you'll learn a lot from it, but it's also something that's unfair to you as a child because you shouldn't have to go through that, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of a lot of real shit in this. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. I appreciate you, and I will catch you in the next one, homies.